In honor of World Kindness Day yesterday, newborns out of Pittsburgh Hospital were dressed up like no other than Mr. Rogers. Nurses at West Penn Hospital wrapped the infants in tiny cardigans and ties, Brett Rogers' signature outfit. A Pittsburgh native, Rogers taught generations of viewers about kindness on Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Parents were invited to the nursery window to fawn over and photograph the fashion show, adding to already sterling memories of a very beautiful day in their neighborhood. Now, I loved Mr. Rogers. I was going to say, are you guys old enough to remember? I Honestly, know, I've never seen I know Mo's answer is <laughs> yes, but I wasn't sure Mr. about Rogers you guys. Sure. I yeah. used to watch Mr. Rogers and Bob Ross. Yeah. Bob Ross was hey, another that one. That would have been really cool if they would have been able to dress him up with Bob Ross. With the afro. With the afro and the beard. Oh my God. You know he hated that afro, right? I heard about that. Yeah, he, he hated having that afro. He was. But it was the thing that stuck with him as far as image. Yeah. So well, you know, why, you know why he had the afro, right? Yeah. It was because he, and I, this is what I heard, in the beginning he was uh, pressed for money. So he, he, kept, he kept the afro so that he wouldn't have to maintain his hair. Hmm. See, I actually did hear that. And then it but, became a trademark. But he wanted to that. get rid of it, but he couldn't get rid of it because it obviously was very much a right. It was a him, Bob Ross. Thing. Yeah, he did it to yes, himself. It I don't know. Yeah. Yes, he did. <laughs>